I am not a pizza chef, but I love eating pizzas and cooking pizzas too. So, can I actually make Napolitan pizza in the rock box, which is my favorite pizza? Let's find out in this video if the rock box is the way to go. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. Today we are reviewing the Rock Box, a beautiful oven. So I've got three ovens at the moment, two wood fire ovens and one gas. And I want to really see what this oven can do. Let's see if I'm going to miss my wood fire oven. So this oven, it's a beautiful structure. It's very sexy. I picked the gray color. It's very, very nice. First thing to say, this oven is extremely light. It's about 20 kilos, so you can really move it any way you want. And good point is, it's gas, so you can have it on your balcony. You can have it under the patio, the veranda, and, and you know, it doesn't create, you know, the smoke doesn't make your roof black. It can reach 500 degrees, okay? So we are talking about an oven, can, it can reach very, very, very high temperatures. I'm not cooking pizza at 500, I'll cook pizza at 400, but 500 is telling you that the oven is very powerful. You connect it to the gas bottle. So I've got a gas bottle over here. Then here I have the accessory, which is, this accessory is what you connect in the oven, and that's how you connect the gas to your oven. The structure is very strong. Here we got very nice, firm legs okay so these legs you can fold them so it's easy to put in the car or anywhere you need to transport or if you want to store it in your house you know it takes less room on the side here we have the thermometer so the thermometer uh, is very very accurate okay i always use my uh, laser thermometer but this thermometer is really really accurate let me tell you this top part it's a silicone and is you actually can touch it while you cook it so this outside part is insulated so you don't really burn yourself just in case you touch it by mistake then what we have inside we have a nice thick stone this nice thick stone is perfect for the pizza I mean, it's very important that you turn on the oven i would say at least half an hour before so you can make the stone nice and hot and at the same time with half an hour you can reach a temperature of 500. i say i've tested the oven it takes about 20 25 minutes to reach 400 degrees this is the structure this is how beautiful it is nice front nice side nice legs and nice bum <laughs> but let's see how it works okay so i connect it to my gas to my gas bottle at the back you have this button so i press the button and twist it and that's how you turn it on very easily you get the flame okay you get the big flame coming and that big flame is what you need for the first 20 25 minutes so you you reach the temperature that you want okay put it up put it up like crazy okay and what you can do in the meantime you can do whatever you want you know you can um, go and prepare your pizza um, station you can prepare the sauce you can cut the cheese do anything you want right now after 25 minutes i, I think 25 minutes the minimum you are ready to cook your first pizza okay so the oven is ready I also like to use this and this is a it's like a brush it's a professional pizza brush and what I like to do with this is I like to uh, clean the stone with it because every time you cook the pizza a little bit of flour will burn get burned on the stone and you need to remove it that okay and this beautiful oven also comes with this beautiful pizza peel it's a very 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 good pizza peel let me tell you the pizza doesn't get stuck on it it's a professional pizza peel it's short so you don't you know you, you don't have you don't need too much room for it it's a short pizza peel for a small oven now let's make the pizza and let's see if we can make napolitan pizza in this rock box i stretch the pizza the napolitan style i like to stretch my pizza the napolitan style so we want all the gases to go on the edges and we want the cornicione, the edges to be nice and thick. So here I put the tomato sauce on top, pecorino cheese, mozzarella cheese, I put extra virgin olive oil, ready to go in the pizza. What I do is I get the rock box pizza peel, I put a little bit of flour, just a little bit, not too much, okay? Otherwise when we cook the pizza in the oven, if you put too much flour at the bottom, 
the bottom of the pizza will become black uh, it will burn and it won't taste nice so be careful not to put too much flour on the pizza peel just a touch okay I basically slide the pizza on my pizza peel and I'm ready to put it in the rock box what I recommend you to do when you know on the way from the stay pizza station to the rock box just move the peel a little bit keep moving the peel a little bit so you're sure 100% sure that the pizza won't get stuck on the pizza peel then what you do you slowly gently but quick at the same time we put this pizza peel inside and we slide back so the pizza can relax on the stump so once you put the pizza inside what i like to do i like to count first 30 seconds and i let it cook on that side and you can see that the the edge grows fast of course if it grow, grows faster you might need 20 you might need 40 seconds just keep an eye on it after 30 seconds i put the peel back inside i take the pizza out a little bit i turn it with my fingers and i do each side now for 15 seconds so back in 15 seconds on this side take it back out turn it again 15 more seconds then i take it out again do one more side 15 more seconds the pizza is ready let's take it out as you can see the pizza napoletana came out perfectly it's a beautiful pizza napoletana made in a gas oven the rock box so what can i say is well done rock box the godsony family for creating this beautiful i can't say toy beautiful toy for me it's a toy because i use it every day now it's a beautiful oven that you can do fantastic pizzas you can do anything else you want so now we need to see if the pizza cooked perfectly we cut the pizza and as you can see the edges the, it's very it's crunchy but at the same time look at the inside that's a good result and as you can see from the slice as well you don't have a split dough sometimes i've i've experienced cooking in gas ovens the dough kind of split like you have the pizza slice is plate enough i don't know if it makes sense but there is a gap in between the top and the bottom this one actually cooked perfectly a very nice reaction to a gas oven the reason maybe why it's so good is because it's a small oven it can concentrate on one pizza and it does it properly now i finished making my pizza i recommend you to get the brush very important to clean the burn flour you have to clean it guys that's the only thing you have to clean it there is not much maintenance because as you finish making the pizza one two three five pizzas whatever you want you switch it off you switch off the gas and you're basically done you don't need to do much so the side of your oven will get dark will get black that's the only maintenance you need so the front of your um, rock box will become black and that's because of the fire okay so you do need to clean it you might need to buy a product to clean that so just be careful maybe use gloves when you clean it that's the only maintenance that you need let's say you want to do a picnic you bring a small gas bottle you bring the rock box and you have a picnic pizza oh guys come on this is the future seriously i don't have much negative negative things to say everything is pretty positive i really like it um, and this is perfect for people who can't have a wood fire oven at the house because not everyone has a big backyard the wood fire oven gives a very different taste different flavor and i think it's always best okay you can buy the accessory to attach it to this oven you can have wood wood attached to the rock box so thank you so much for watching this review i hope you enjoyed the reason why i want rock box is because i can have it on my balcony it's because i can have it at the back of my car and when i do a, 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 a camping you know it is, it's easy to transport it's it, it's convenient it's good and it's uh, it's fantastic and i do have a wood fire oven i have a big wood fire oven which i love using it when i have parties but when it's an everyday thing i use the rock box that's what it is for me and i really love it and i have nothing negative to say about this product